Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. In this video, let us learn about the types of machine learning. First, we will understand what is learning, and then we will discuss about supervised, unsupervised, and various other types of learning. So, let us start with the video. So, first and foremost, let us understand about learning before we proceed with supervised learning. A machine is said to be learning from past experiences, the data that we feed into machine with respect to some class of tasks. If its performance in a given task or job improves with the experience. So let us start with supervised learning first and then we will discuss various other learnings. Now while training and building your model, the data is split and the ratio of 8 is to 2 or 6 is to 4 or any other ratio for that matter depending on your requirements. In training data we feed input as well as output for your training data. The model will learn from training data only and then we can make use of machine learning algorithms to build our model and build the statistical power of prediction of our model. Now once the model is done with its learning it means that the model will build some logic and intuition of its own. Once the model is ready it is good to be tested in an environment unlike the one it was trained on. At the time of testing input is fed from remaining testing data which is your 20% or 40% of data depending on the requirement which the model has never seen before and the model will build some statistical power of prediction of its own and will predict the value. And this way we are able to improve the performance of your machine learning model. Now let us learn about how supervised machine learning works. So we have two techniques namely classification and regression. In classification, it's a supervised machine learning technique where the output is having well-defined and discrete labels. For example, if you are given images of animals, then you should be able to correctly demarcate between the animals based on the feature set. So you should be able to distinguish between a cat and a dog. Now once the model is trained, it is tested in an environment which is unlike the one it was trained on to compute the performance and statistical power of prediction of the model and thereby it should be able to predict and distinguish between various images of cats and dogs and should be able to demarcate based on the feature set that it had studied that it learned during its training phase and then it is able to improve the performance of the model and its accuracy. Now the second technique in supervised learning is a regression where the output is having a continuous value. So suppose you want to predict house prices in a certain area based on certain parameters then we can make use of regression where the goal is to predict a value as much closer to the actual output value as, as a model can and then evaluation is done by computing the error value. Now smaller the error the greater is the accuracy of your machine learning model. Now unlike supervised learning, no teacher or supervisor is provided that means no training will be given to the machine and you are not providing any labels to the data. Therefore machine is restricted to find the hidden structure in unlabeled data by itself. So this is called as unsupervised learning. So let us discuss about an example for unsupervised learning to understand how it differs from supervised learning. Now given many images of cats and dogs which the machine has never seen before, the machine has no idea about the features of dogs and cats because it hasn't been fit the feature set in unsupervised learning. So we cannot categorize it into dogs and cats but it can categorize them according to similarities, patterns and differences. We can easily categorize them into dogs and cats. Here you don't learn anything means no training data. Or examples. Then we have something called as the semi-supervised learning that is a combination of supervised and unsupervised learning. This combination will comprise of a very small amount of labeled data and a very large amount of unlabeled data. The basic procedure involved is to cluster similar data using an unsupervised learning algorithm and then use existing labeled data to label the rest of unlabeled data. So semi-supervised learning has its own use cases which we will see in later videos. So let us move forward to reinforcement learning. 
So let us learn about reinforcement learning. It is about taking a suitable action to maximize the reward in a particular situation. It's employed by various softwares and machines to find the best possible path or behavior it should implement in a specific situation. So let us see this by an example. Now reinforcement learning works on the concept of agent and environment where the agent will perform a certain action and it will be rewarded by the environment based on its activity. Now given a maze, the user wants to reach the end cell from the source cell. The user or the agent will try to learn all possible paths and then will choose the best possible path which gives him the reward that is there in the end cell with the encountering the least possible number of hurdles. Each right step will give the agent a reward and each wrong step will subtract the reward of the agent. The net reward will be computed when it reaches the final reward that is there on the end cell. So this was all about the reinforcement learning. So this was all about the video on learning analyst types. So if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the very next video where we will discuss and demystify more concepts on machine learning. So let's catch up later.